Ekpumini kwelinye ne linye ilanga kulo msabes pila kiwo. Lipuma linye ndabazalo. Lipinde futilishone linye ndabazalo. Yes, I think anybody that, that meets Philemon, um, the first thing that, that comes to mind is that he's engaged in, in conversation and, and that he cares. Uh, he's got people's ambitions and their dreams at heart as well. So, Philly's journey with Paiga began three and a half, almost four years ago. Um, Philly had a, an entry into the Epic. He had just lost a bike sponsorship, so he essentially had the ticket to the ball, but no dress. Ruan managed to make contact, I think, with Oli, and the dream was born. I've been a close friend of um, Philemon for many years, we used to ride together back in the day um, when we were both chasing a dream of being professional cyclists and something that stood out for me as well is he's had the perseverance to push through all the difficult times and challenges to actually achieve his dream and the goal of being a professional athlete. Um, years after that he started with us at Trail Wolf and you know, was just a young rider, someone working in the cycling industry and I saw potential in Philemon from a point of view where he had the uh, ability to engage with people um, on different levels. Um, cross over different language barriers where he's very good at Afrikaans, English and his other languages that he speaks. And that's a phenomenal gift to have to be able to communicate with multiple cultures. We are one of the sponsors, or the bike sponsor of the Paga Eurostil team. And We've been associated with the team for three years now. We've had a phenomenal association. We've got some real gentlemen as athletes, and today we're here to pay tribute to one of the finest gentlemen and wish him farewell. And what I suppose is a bittersweet farewell. Bitter because we're losing a gem of a human being, but sweet because he's really finding the greater purpose for his life and he's going off to inspire young kids in a sport that we all love dearly. So from that perspective, we, we had to to say adieu to Philly Sabona. So something about Philemon that stands out for me is that he has the ability to mentor someone from the beginning of cycling out of a, um, un unprivileged circumstances into a professional career or just encouraging them to chase a dream where he's someone who started from the bottom and obviously now he's here. And, uh, he was able to, to cross over all the challenges he faced from finances, where he came from, um, the resources that he had available to him. And none of that actually stopped him to chase his dreams. I think he's the perfect individual to, to mentor youngsters in these current days where they're coming from the same circumstances where he came from and other guys are more privileged. Um, but just to, to help them prepare their mental strength to get through the challenges that will happen, it's inevitable to happen. Um, and I think beyond that, he has a phenomenal business skill to, to educate them beyond the point of just chasing a dream of cycling, but to take that further into maybe generating an income from it in a later stage in their lives and making it a career. I'm Isa Kutsir, one of the founders of Cycle to Ride. Cycle to Ride is a joint initiative of Curo School South Africa, Future Coaches Cycling and Grid Procurement Solutions. This is an initiative for, of Curo South Africa, of Curo, Curo Schools, and we're very excited and, and, and things, things are happening and even, even now during this um, lockdown period, we only see positive things coming out of this. With Philemon at C2R, I think we can give communities and children that would like to cycle and even parents hope and a purpose. And we're really looking forward in having Philemon as a C2R representative. I'd like to thank everyone um, for all this. Um, it's not the end of racing. It's not the end of everything. 
is actually the beginning of the new chapter and the new journey that I'm looking forward to walk, to take a step ahead with everyone. And I would like to welcome everybody who will be watching everything and uh, hopefully we're looking at very good results into everything. Hi, my name is Ron Lochner. I'm the team manager of Team Palio Eurosteel. And I'm, I've been with the team for about four years uh, and working with the team basically since they started in 2012 um, all the way to, to 2020. Uh, so it's been a great journey and yeah, we've obviously shared a lot over the, the past years. I think the role that you will fulfill um, in the years to come is very similar to what I do. It's, it's management, it's logistics and, and it's working with people. And I think that's one of the biggest traits of, of, of Philemon is that he's good with people, um, he understands people um, and he speaks a few languages as well. Um, and I think that's a big big help in, in South Africa to, to bridge that, that cultural um, gap that, that a language is uh, sometimes a barrier. I've been in touch with Team Paga Euro Steel since 20, 2016, late 2016 to 2017. Um, I've learned quite a lot of things uh, through into team riding and especially racing in a UCI category. It's one of the big, biggest things that have changed into my life. Kind of the experience and exposure that I managed to get through to, from the riders' uh, perspectives into the team. Um, I mean, with the first uh, cross-country race that I've done in my life, uh, Philip Bass was one of the biggest guys that came on, on, on board to come and teach me how to ride cross-country course and how to look at the lines. I mean, into the team I've learned quite a lot of uh, key points, how to race in a cross-country, where to channel yourself. Like Matthijs Piekes was the, one of the guys that came to me when I came into the team uh, to teach me how to position myself when you start racing, like where to sit and how to look for lines, even if you know that you're behind somebody, what to look and what to expect all the time. I mean, I've got a lot of experience from the, the high guys from the team. Uh, I mean, from Philip in cross-country style, uh, Matthijs into your endurance racing, like multi-stage race also. He was one of the guys that will give me key points and how to study the route profile of the race, how to look when to fit, to feed, and not when not to feed, all those kind of things. The, the number of bottles that you should take when you start the race, if it's a stage race. There's three key things for me, humility, determination, and just genuine character. So, Philly, Philly's come an incredible journey in his life. He's, he's come from literally nothing. He had an introduction into cycling. He sunk his teeth into it, and we've literally been able to see him take that opportunity and take it to the next level. This is a man, you know, the first black man to win a stage at, at a major stage race in South Africa. He took the third stage of the Sony to see. He's won a number of individual marathon events, um, Michalis Monster, which I've done, which is uh, a proper ride. Um, and yeah, they, they, they were just shy of the top 20 last year in, in the Epic on the, on the GCs. He's just been such an ambassador for the brand. He, he really has taken things forward. My personal introduction to Philly was in Trail Wolf, you know, where, where his day job was. And you, know, you only have to be in his workspace to realize how loved and adored he is you know, amongst ladies, amongst kids, um, and, and just generally, he, he's, he's such a good ambassador. And my, my journey with him and, and my friendship with him, and I truly count him as, as, a, as a friend for life, has started probably 13, 14 months ago. And uh, I think we're going to journey for many, many years ahead, despite the fact that he's uh, exiting the team. We will still be, we'll still be in contact and we'll still be watching each other. I'd like to talk a little bit about the cycling team and in particular Philemon, who I met, I think, 2017. Uh, was privileged to have a couple of days with the team at the Epic and uh, got to meet and, and, and chat to Philemon uh, when we were at Elgin at one of the overnight stops, or I think it was two days. 
He, were, at that time, was riding a Paga, and we had the association, of course, with the USDL Paga as part of the team. And because he rode a Paga, I think kindly sponsored by uh, Paga Mountain Bikes, he had won a couple of stages riding uh, for the Xaro uh, development team. And I saw this young man on the podium, partner, with an infectious smile, really humble, but absolutely at that stage an amateur. And Afterwards, I was introduced by, by our guys and congratulated him on a stage win in what is the hardest mountain bike race in the world. And he, you could see how keen he was and how hard he was trying and uh, what a delightful young man and didn't say much to the, 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 the team management, but uh, they recognised the potential and they brought him on from strictly an amateur and became his tenure as a, I guess, a professional in the, in the, within the team. Hi, I'm Philip Bass and I had the privilege to be a teammate of Philemon on Team Paga Eurosteel. And um, yeah, I, I can't really pinpoint the exact moment that I, I met Philemon for the first time because it just feels like he's been part of my life and part of our team, you know, forever. And um, yeah, I think Having Philemon part of our, our team and uh, yeah, just part of my life uh, has definitely uh, had a positive impact on, on what we do and uh, now we approach everything um, in racing and yeah, again in life, you know, everything that we do in our racing career and the race, racing environment and uh, yeah, being an athlete sort of translates directly into um, yeah, general things in life, and uh, you can pl apply a lot of a lot of the things you learn, um, yeah, anywhere in life and in, in any situation. And I think that's where Philemon had an impact on on you know my mindset with uh, regards to uh, yeah what we're doing and how privileged we are with yeah with with everything we have and um, yeah just being able to to ride our bikes and. You know, I also realized that we have it quite easy. Um, if you look at Philemon's background, uh, he's re he really has, has had to work hard to, um, you know, get to the level where he is. And uh, I think, yeah, everyone, we're all super glad for for him to have this opportunity to to grow and progress because, you know, it's definitely not something you just you got for free. You know, we've personally seen how, how hard he works and, um, not just on the bike, but yeah, he's quite quite the operator with when he's not riding on the bike. Philemon with us at Trail Wolf has been, a, has been a massive benefit to the business and uh, he's very dear to us um, and we're very excited for the future that's lying ahead with him, um, being the new face and also helping to develop youngsters, up and coming youngsters and helping us grow this phenomenal sport we all love and are passionate about. Yeah, it's, it's humbling to see and to know where he, where he came from and when he started with us, kind of not feeling that he belonged at the front. Um, and within two years, winning a stage in, in one of the biggest stage races in the world, it's, it's really something that inspires people. And I believe um, he won't be the, the last of his generation and, and, and the people that he will inspire. Um, I look forward to, to the people that he'll walk a, a road with and, and hopefully in the future see them at the front as well and winning big races. and. You know, seeing Philemon as the guy behind that success, um, I think he's learned a lot in, in our professional environment and he'll definitely take that over to, to the business world, but also I believe in, into the athletes and, and the kids that he'll, he'll work with. Indaba's pay him away to 